Now, are we not supposed to set time? What about the 1260 years? That was time setting, right? Okay, what about the 200 days? That was time setting. Okay, there before 1844, someone said. Revelation 10, verse 6. And swear by him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven, and the things that therein are, and the earth, and the things that therein are, and the sea, and the things which, there, which are therein. That there should be what? Time no longer. This is extremely, extremely critical. Somehow, we know this, but we break it all the time. We know that in 1844, which is what this is talking about, 1844, that there is time no longer. What does that mean? There is no time. Don't be setting dates. Don't be setting times. We can't say, oh, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years. There is no more time. And we're going to come back to this a little bit later, and you're going to see how important this is. Selected Messages, Volume 2, page 108. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth, lifted up his hand to heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein are, will skip to the bottom. This message announces the end of the prophetic periods. So we should not be setting on any prophetic dates past when? 1844. So why do we keep doing this? Maybe because the person you just cited did. In 1849, Ellen White wrote that the end time seal is the Sabbath and that she saw that the time for Jesus to be in the most holy place was nearly finished and that time can last but a very little longer. And what leisure time we have should be spent in searching the Bible, which is to judge us in the last day. So in 1849, God apparently showed Ellen White two time prophecies that time could only last but a little while longer and the heavenly most holy place work was almost finished this is when the date for the return of christ by the way moved to the fall of that year five years after 1844 and again the following year in 1850 after 1849 didn't exactly pan out she writes that in a view given june 27 1850 my accompanying angel said time is almost finished do you reflect the lovely image of jesus as you should then I was pointed to the earth and saw that there would have to be a getting ready among those who have of late embraced the third angel's message. Said the angel, get ready, get ready, get ready. Ye will have to die a greater death to the world than ye have ever yet died. I saw that there was a great work to do for them and but little time in which to do it. So how ironic that the individual cited to warn us against time setting after 1844, was doing such herself because, you know, God told her, even though Revelation 10, 6 was there this whole time and it's supposedly about 1844. What this actually shows is that God was not speaking through Ellen White. She bore God's name falsely, violating the third commandment repeatedly. And according to sacred scripture, we're not to listen to or fear her, which is why I don't. So hopefully that helped you out, Mackenzie. Always happy to answer questions. Maybe modern SDAs are just uh, following the example set for them by the Lord's messenger that you're citing from there. Which reminds me, if you want to see us explore this problem even further, check out this blunder.